Hello everyone, this is Sherwin here from TechOS. Um, today I've got quite a quick video for you. This is going to be my first video of my OS X El Capitan series. Now I've downloaded the developer preview from Apple's developer website and if you are, have a developer account you can go ahead and do the same. I'll have the link at the end in the description of the video. And in my first video I'm going to be taking a look at the new mission control in OS X. Now, Apple slightly redesigned Mission Control to make it a um, much uh, sort of better experience. So I'm just going to go through two main features. So obviously you can access Mission Control either by pressing the button on your keyboard. I think on my keyboard it's F3, which will um, initiate Mission Control. However, on other keyboards it's different. And I'm not sure about the Magic Mouse. However, I know on the trackpads, if you just take four fingers. I think you can do three, I'm not sure why, I normally use four. And if you just slide up on the trackpad, which I'm going to do now. So, as you can see, I'm in mission control mode. So, you can see I've got loads of windows open, I've got maps, I've got calendar, I've got an email there, so an offers email, so an advert email, and I've got my app store open, and Final Cut Pro open as well. So, this is the new interface. Obviously, when you hover your... Um, mouse over each of the different thumbnails you will get it will highlight itself and it will say what app it is and at the top here we have our bar now as you can see it is um, sort of streamlined it's more sort of closed up to maximize mission control space however if I move my mouse up to the top as you can see it has just opened it all out and you can now get the thumbnails as you would before However, to get rid of it again, you do have to go out of Mission Control, back in, and it will now be disappeared. Here you've got your de your desktops, and obviously I've got Dashboard open here, so you can just rearrange your desktops as you've always been able to. Just like that. We just move that back. And you can easily just add a new desktop by just clicking on the plus icon. And it's very easy to delete a desktop, just hover your mouse over it until the X appears in the corner. Just tap that and it gets to the desktop. Now... Apple have added a new functionality in El Capitan where, say I was using Final Cut Pro and I want to take this full screen from Mission Control, as well as being able to obviously press the full screen button up here. Oh, minimize that there. Um, as well as being able to do that, obviously, I can now go into Mission Control and just drag a window into its own full screen desktop. As you can see, it's now added a full screen. Um, view of Final Cut. Obviously if I want to close that I can just go into Final Cut and just click the minimize and it will now move it back into the um, desktop that contains all these windows. And you can't really, really rearrange these however you can obviously drag them from desktop to desktop so if you want a Final Cut in its own desktop I could do so. And then yeah so obviously you can swipe between your different desktops as you've always been able to so that's a nice theme thing at least I haven't removed anything like that but yeah that was a quick look at how you can use mission control in OS 10 El Capitan if you have any questions or comments on this video then obviously send me an email or any other ways of getting in touch with me will be at the end of the video my next video will I think be I want to get some new cool split screen features in El Capitan, so look out for that video, that should be up tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.